Okay, good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is Whoopi speaking and we are speaking about the part 2 of this PMH motor. Okay, as John Bellini said at Energetic Forum, I would have to test the bipolar switch. Okay, I made these circuits. Uh, this circuit is this one here. I have found it uh, at the uh, Jordi's circuit on page 199 at Energetic Forum with some modification on the all and the different uh, transistor. At the end here, I don't know exactly what to do, but I have made it until now so far. Very interesting that is that uh, the spikes I have shown on the part one is almost the same but much stronger, almost double. So I could charge the capacitor here, which is a uh, 450 volts at 22 microfarad, very fast, and up to easily 160 volt at 8 volt input. You can see here the two transistors, NPN and PNP, and the small one here, 2N3906 transistor. Or with same schema here with the hole. And okay, now I will put the power. Always as on the part one, 8 volt. Okay, it doesn't spin now. But what I have done, it is after the capacitor here, I have put this LED. Okay. Now look at it, very interesting. I will start the motor and you will see the LED will be very bright. Tac, 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 tac. Very bright. And as soon as the speed of the rotor go up, the LED are less and less and totally get out. Now I break the rotor and the LED come in. And that's it. And the LED goes out. With this setup I could also, in place of the LEDs, a small DC motor and probably a battery. I don't know how it is, but what is very important is that when I stop the rotor, the LED, I mean, the volts seems to increase. So probably to go very slow with the wheel will be better. Okay, I think it can help. Okay, thanks for watching, good night at all.